Hey guys, this is Gorilla Geek with an introduction to field test equipment. This will be a uh, cable spool top review of various types of measurement devices that you could use in the field in any situation where you may need to do field repairs, get you back on the road, or troubleshooting of whatever systems you may have. And I'm basically going to cover voltage voltage multimeters multimeters meaning you can me measure current resistance voltage in DC and AC and various other ones so here I got a gamut of uh, test equipment which spans a couple of decades or a few decades rather so starting from the latest this one here is a fluke 189 it's made, I think, in the mid-90s. Very accurate, excellent voltmeter, which will measure all sorts of uh, measurements of uh, DC, uh, audio, uh, current, you know, the basics. Here you have a vintage 19, late 1980s Fluke, let me see, Fluke 8024B multimeter. Same concept, will measure all sorts of uh, measurements battery operated both units here's a current current clamp type voltmeter here kinda cheap uh, I think it's a uh, X-Tech uh, voltmeter AC-DC clamp multimeter so it's got limited range as far as what you can measure but what I like is uh, you have this uh, meter clamp for uh, current and you don't have to break the uh, DC leads or anything or AC leads to measure current and then you have your tried and true Simpson 260 this is the granddaddy of all multimeters that we use today and I would uh, I will focus more on this piece of equipment uh, because this would appeal to the uh, preppers and uh, survivalists out there and uh, shit hit the fan, ROL and all that good stuff but uh, reason being that this would have a little bit more EMP, electromagnetic pulse immunity than these equipments over here and I'll break this open and show you why I, I still believe that this will fry on you but uh, just a couple of components nothing that you can't handle out in the field but this is what I'm gonna concentrate more Oh, by the way, this video is brought to you by Yankee Prepper for giving me the idea of buying a, uh, what you call it, a uh, tent stove here. This is the uh, Hunter SHA right next to it. This is Granddad, the Yukon 1950. Uh, later on, I'll do a video pitting those two against each other uh, once I get more stuff. But this guy here is roaring nice and toasty in here and if not this video would never been would never would have been made because it's too damn cold but it's nice and toasty in here anyway I digress these are all excellent test measurement devices here multimeters uh, for everyday use especially the flukes I mean they're the industry leaders right now I would say uh, personally I like using this cheap X-Tech uh, volta multimeter because uh, it has a convenient current uh, clamp here and I could do basic measurements with these just just everyday kick around measurements uh, 12 volt systems you know as far as car batteries uh, home uh, 120 circuits or your, you know your home electrical circuits and whatnot uh, and what have you I mean just for a cheap kick around sort of uh, all around test equipment this is what I what I like to carry I want more precise measurements then I go to these two guys here actually this one here uh, <clears throat> now for the extreme case of shit hit the fan and all, you know and all that other scenarios uh, electromagnetic pulse EMP burst uh, the one piece of equipment that I think that will survive that will be the Simpson 260 Simpson 260 
is I would say 98% comprised of nothing but resistors. Resistors, switches, uh, variable resistors, and, and your meter circuit here, which uh, is, is no big deal. But uh, it has, in my opinion, more immunity to it than these digital multimeters. Uh, for practical purposes, all these three test meters here are microprocessor controlled, meaning they have a little mini computer in each in each one of them. Uh, to this one here, I mean computers to run the uh, the display circuit uh, to take measurements uh, and all that stuff. But this meter here, the Simpson 260, is strictly analog. Uh, no components there to fry for. For instance, uh, this uh, circuit board here, uh, all these components here, all these chips, microchips and whatnot, just, just me rubbing my fingers across the leads here would render this piece of equipment uh, damaged because just any little zap from my electromagnetic uh, uh, static electricity in my hands and stuff would would cause the internal components of the chip itself to burn out so that's just me rubbing this thing up against my hair would fry this can you imagine a uh, electromagnetic pulse from you know nuclear device or uh, you know the fighter jets with those pulses on them the A6 intruders I think they had them uh, so in that scenario these three very good in other situation Multimeters would just be useless, you know, Christmas tree ornament. But this guy here, the Simpsons 260, I believe will survive that particular catastrophe. So I'm going to demonstrate a basic current measurements using these four relays. I'm going to run these four relays on 12 volts off of this uh, battery here. And I'm going to make the first measurement using the uh, Simpson 260, the analog meter. Uh, to measure current with an analog meter, you would have to break the circuit from the battery, the source, and put your voltmeter in line with that breakage there. So you complete the, the circuit with your, with your test equipment. So the battery, negative, will go into uh, one of the jacks here, plus 5 amps, and it's going to come out the common port here. So the current flow will go through the meter out this way. And this is already hooked up to the battery directly. And you're going to hear a click saying that it's activated. So all the relays are activated. And there's my, uh, my meter there showing 300 and, let's see, that looks like 335 milliamps. Of current running through through this device here so that's the measurement of total current for this for this particular circuit now I like using this handy uh, multimeter with with the uh, current clamp here and it, it measures the electromagnetic force of the current going through the line rather than direct current going through its circuit through the leads here which makes it so you don't have to make the break. Sometimes it's not uh, advisable or, or smart to break the circuit than to put your test equipment in between. With this here, all you got to do is just clamp right onto the lead. And right there, the resolution, since this is a cheaper model, is, is not that great. So it says 0.34 amps, meaning 340, 345 milliamps. So this came within, I don't know. 20 milliamps uh, from this measurement here of 340 milliamps of this uh, more precise equipment here and I, I haven't calibrated this equipment I just pulled it out of the shelf just to show you guys and, and it, it's still rocking on so I'm gonna measure the same measurements with this uh, fluke modern uh, multimeter so now I have the fluke in line with, with the load here and it's measuring 329 milliamps. Uh, that's just what, uh, 10 milliamps difference of the Simpson here. 
and about 20 milliamps difference or 30 milliamps difference from this guy here so they're all in the in the ballpark you know with with a little bit of uh, deviation plus or minus but they're all in the ballpark where you can make a, a, a pretty precise measurement with these three meters uh, the clamp style meter being the more accessible and easiest to use but uh, there, there's a catch to it for those of you doing radio work or uh, or, or anything like that once you transmit power in the vicinity of, of this meter clamp remember this is working off of electromagnetic energy measuring that energy coming down the down the wire that meter went crazy when I transmit it right now it's measuring 14 amps and there's no way 14 amps is going through that little wire it would have caught on fire and, and this would have been a whole different other video now let's see what the the uh, when I transmit what happens when when this multimeter goes no difference none I'm transmitting nothing but you can hear this meter here going crazy now let me demonstrate it with with the Simpson 260 so here's the Simpson 260 there I'm going to transmit near it there's my antenna oh it that took a hit okay I'm about uh, two feet away and I'm transmitting five watts into the air and it's hardly moving from this close to it but you get a uh, in here you have a coil that's probably being affected by the power I don't want to transmit anymore because I don't want to decalibrate that 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 spring in there or that coil in there but from about a, a foot away or so it, it, it holds its reading just right but my current clamp style meter here it's going crazy 28 amps you yeah, right Yeah.